Hello guys, the Deckless Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a second place Marinsa's deck profile played by Johan Pesos at the Columbia Regional, and let's go ahead and hop right in. So we have three Ash Blossom and three Droll for the Monster Hand Traps. We have three of the Ice Jade Rand designed to play this. This is like a uh, long young but for waters. It also doesn't lock you in the Synchro. Uh, so interesting that they decided to play this to make the Synchro 10 in this deck. Uh, three Blue Tang. One Mandarin, two Pas or Pascal uh, three Seahorse, and three Spring Girls. So I decided to cut down on these two, uh, which kind of hurts, because it's kind of like they took these three and just changed them into Ice Jage, which is definitely going to hurt the consistency of the deck. Um, and also it's going to make stuff like Blue Tang hit less, which is going to make something like Ice Jade a little bit worse. Uh, so I wonder how that worked out for them. And then three Book of Eclipse. This card's really good in this deck. Uh, you end on like all links and stuff so you can like activate this and just set their field. And then next turn you just end the game. Or you can like book the field and then world see them. Uh, one Called By, one Harpies, one Battle Ocean, one Dive. Wow, only designed to play one Dive in the deck. Most people play two. Most people play two of this card. I'm a fan of three. And then we got one Reborn, okay, two Talons, two Thrust, okay, I guess like Thrust makes that make a little bit more sense, um, probably also helps out with Dive a little bit, having an Extender a little bit more often. And then three goes in match, uh, this is just like a really good going first Floodgate, this deck only summons Waters, so this doesn't hurt at all. And then three Imperm for a little bit more Hand Traps, and then two Marincis Wave, uh, doesn't even play Desires in the deck or anything like that. I guess you really can't if you decide to play one Battle Ocean, one Dive. I mean, you can. It just it hurts a little bit more. Um, but I guess you also play one Mandarin. You cut down on these. But it also, Desires would help this card out too. But onto the side deck, we got Gamma Seal. This card's really cool in this deck because you can Gamma Seal the opponent. You can obviously add this back with like all your stuff that adds back Waters. Um, like, where is it? Or, wait... No, none of this stuff adds back waters. That's my bad. Because this adds back Marin so That's my bad. I was thinking about Toad, but they don't play Toad. Um, but I guess with the Gamma Seal, it works really well with the World Sea. Because you can use this to like banish. And then it'll come back to your field. So it makes it easier to go for game. And then 3 Nib. Uh, they're not playing a whole lot of other hand traps alongside of the Nibs. So this isn't nearly as strong as it could have been. Compared to like in a more hand trap heavy build. And then we have three anti spell. Uh, this card is insane going first. We also have three Gozen. So we have like six floods. And then we can also see the three spiritual water art right here. And this card's really good at going first, especially with the thrust. So we have a really, really strong going first deck. And then we have three evenly for going second. Extra deck, we have the Ice Jade Grimmer Synchro 10. Uh, this is for the Ice Jade guy right here, the Long Young. Uh, Stealth Crag and Assign and I'll play Toad. Uh, one Water Charmer. This also works well with the Nib. Uh, one Aqua. Okay, for a second I thought there was no Great Bubble Reef. I was like, oh my god, that's so crazy. But okay, two Blue Slug, two Coral, one Triangle, one Great Bubble Reef, one Marbled Rock, two Sea Angel, one Splash Mage, and one World Sea. So uh the extra deck is whatever um design and i'll play toad playing the synchro 10 yeah just like not playing toad it does hurt it definitely hurts because sometimes like your combos turn one you kind of want the extra body from the bahamid shark while comboing so you'll be able to go for those combos but not stealth kraken combos because this definitely is like better in this because you have like goes into that works really well with this but that is going to be it for the deck profile and yeah, congrats to Johan Pesos for getting second place at the regionals. And with all that being said, the Deckless Grinders signing off. Peace.